What about all these state-owned enterprises and so on that are almost, almost licensed to lose money? Paraz, and why should the people carry on paying for that? Paraz, again, this is of two components. When you talk about SOEs and the state sector, you are talking about the fiscal revenue aspect of it. Now, when you talk about exports and the import requirements of the exporting companies, mm -hmm. and when the shortage of dollars is there, and then they are having facing uh, uh, difficulties in importing the inputs, yeah. we are talking about the foreign yes. account. So these two are two things. Let me first tell you one 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 important statistic that a lot of people forget yeah. about is in Sri Lanka. In Sri Lanka. The dollar demand comes mainly on imports of essential items like petroleum uh, uh, and then also uh, pharmaceuticals, etc., etc. Now, when you talk about those ex essential imports and also imports for uh, as inputs for the export-oriented industries. Yeah. But a larger proportion of those, if you take for consumerism, for consumer goods yes. that you are importing, yeah. those can be substituted for us. Indeed. Now, the point is, as much as you have to increase your export revenue, yeah. the focus has to be there to save dollars for on substitutable imports yeah. that the Sri Lankan government can, Sri Lankan economy can produce. 